Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. I also want to say thank you guys for all the uh, inputs that you gave on the last episode. I was trying something different with that video. Just, you know, just wanted to switch things up a tiny bit and use some different transitions and a uh, different, couple different scenes, um, you know, like a little, little title intro, things like that. Now that stuff won't be staying permanently. Now, one of the reasons why I don't want to keep that permanent is just because it didn't seem to have the make the video flow the way I wanted it to. It was all supposed to like kind of blend together very well, and I, even with like four hours of editing, it didn't really work the way I wanted it to. So I might come back to that in the future, but like I said, thank you guys for all of your input. So one of the things that has been bugging me about our new area that we're living in is this right here. This is a very awkward area. For one, is it's the shape of it. It's like, it's very hard to work with, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's a piece of a mountain, but the piece of the mountain got tore out. So now we're stuck with like this thing, but it doesn't come all the way down. And we're supposed, this is like literally supposed to be like, it looks like it's supposed to be a cave. So what I was thinking about doing was actually making this a cave. So I'm going to grab some stone and stuff like that. And I think what we're going to do is try to make ourselves a cave pathway um, down to that. Because like like we had tried right here, we tried to make an awning. And awnings in this si style of building doesn't really work too well. So that got me thinking. I was like, should I try an awning or should I not try an awning? And I'm like, eh, maybe I shouldn't try an awning. Now, do I not have... I don't have very much stone. Oh, you know another thing that is kind of bugging me is um, is our this area right here. This uh, this in, not the intro, but the uh, storage area. It just occurred to me that pretty much everything we have done in this base has its sort of own entrance. For example, like if we were going to do horses and stuff, these all have their own little entrances to the area. The the uh, storage area is the one place. That is just wide open. I honestly think we should have to walk into it. So I might be changing that as well. But I want to go ahead and do a uh, small time lapse of me building this cave. So let's go ahead and cut to that now. Doki, so our new hallway is finished. I never realized how hard it was to actually make a cave hallway. I was very, very surprised at how much time this actually took. So let's go ahead and show you. It actually looks really natural. Uh, it turned out really well. I like it a lot, actually. We'll have to, you know, do our thing to it still. But, like, I was surprised. I'm sitting here, like, building this and, like, it wasn't looking right. It wasn't looking right. I'm like... Started taking notes from like this side, like I should add some blocks in it. And it was just crazy because like I was really surprised. And then let's go check out the outside really quickly. It didn't turn out like honestly that bad. Um, good enough to where if you were a new viewer, you probably wouldn't notice. This was relatively easy to do. The grass is going to take a while to spread. Whenever you're building a mountain like this and you've got a bunch of exposed stone, 
The easiest way to do this is to literally just cover the stone up. So like if I had like four pieces of stone right there, I would just, you know, cover that up and then make it look like what Minecraft does. And what I mean by that is like, for example, if you were to look at, um, hold on, let me find a piece of it. Like right here, for example, Minecraft is known for this, like a block, a block, a block, and then they hit the corner right here. So whenever I place something, I just tried my best to either do that or make it blend in as natural as possible. Which is really easy to do. And since there's grass already up there, it's going to blend in very well. Let's actually go take a look from the top side as well. Um, yeah, the grass should spread. It'll probably take, a, a you know, episodes, but eh, it's already starting to spread a little bit. But it actually, you know, it turned out like it's supposed, it looks like it's supposed to be here. So that's what the point of this is. I never realized we had all this core start up here. It's pretty cool. What's this right here? Like a little uh, little platform up here. That's neat. I'm going to have to use this or something. I don't know. That's cool. Anyways, I want to uh, start a new project today. Um, the new One of the new projects that we're going to be doing is a mining outpost. Because our strip mine over there where we very first started, that thing is pretty much depleted. All of my tunnels are like 2,000 blocks. So um, I've got a new area where I want to set that up and we're going to go do that now. All right, guys, so it's time to start a new project. I want to make a mining outpost. One of the reasons why I don't mine a lot anymore is because where we live over there, that place is like super, super mined out. Um, since we've been mining there since the very first episode and there is like no tunnels left over, nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like it's not doing so hot. So we need to make a new area. This, is, this area is going to be more for like um behind the scenes usage this is going to have a lot of block storage and things like that so uh we still need to make it regardless and um this is where i'm going to store a lot of the block items for like cobblestone stone things like that that we don't have like storage for uh this is where that is going to be so something like we've been doing just like so Man, I think I've got to uh, start eating better. Whew. I have got the worst heartburn right now. It feels like lava is like inside of my like inside of my chest. Oh, it's so bad. Um, but yeah, so I have like the worst habit. Like one of the reasons why I have such a hard time dieting is because I don't like any food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm a super picky eater. And it's not like I haven't tried, like, you know, say salad before. I've actually tried salad multiple times, and I just, I, I can't eat it. Like, it tastes, it's, it, it, okay, for example, last time I tried salad, it felt like I was eating grass. And it just, like, I vomited. So, I'm sure you didn't really care to hear about me vomiting, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, it, I can't do it, so... Uh, we're going to do something like this, I think, and uh, here's the game plan. So we'll do, this will be the, the entrance right here. We'll go in, uh, then we'll have a, uh, let's see, probably have uh, entrance and then another connector and then we'll have a storage room and then we'll go back another block and then like right here is where we'll do all the mining. So let me get a little bit of digging done. And we'll come back and start setting everything up that we want to do. Out mining some trees. This guy's just like chilling here. Do, do you die, sir? Hello? <laughs> I don't know. He's just like chilling. Whatever. Anyways, I'm just about finished with the digging. I just need to grab some wood real fast. Um, I ran out and didn't want to grab our chests. And uh, we'll start getting everything set up. In the meantime, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let me go over to the chest over here. We will grab our storage and get it moving. There we go. Quite a lot of digging went into this, but it was it was it was decent. So this is gonna be where our storage is, and then this is the room that I'm just finishing up. We just need to get some more wood. There we go. I'd be salty if I didn't have enough. 
There we go. Alright, and then last but not least, let's uh, do our torches. So this is going to be a little bit different than what I would typically do for a strip mine. You might remember this from Season 2 as uh, just a quarry that I used to do a long time ago. And um, it's kind of a good idea. I'm going to put some torches up here because it's kind of dark in this room. And if I'm going to be mining in here, I at least want to know that it's going to be safe. So let me do that. Same here. Okay. And here. Okay, so first off, let me get rid of you. All torches have been placed. So now we need to decide where we are going to put our digging. And I would at least like a one or two rim. There is a cave down there, but that's not a big deal. Um, you go like right there. So we would go, what, two? It's not too big though, is the problem. Um, the game plan is uh, pretty simple. We're gonna dig this out and then we um, will make a strip mine once we get to the bottom. Now I'm not gonna dig this out today, obviously, but um, I wanna use this to collect blocks with as well. So something like that. So if we were to do that, how would the strip mine look when we got to the bottom? We could do one here and here. And then, well, let's see. We would go here, 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 here. I guess that would work out pretty well, actually. Because if you think about it, all the spaces are taken. Yeah, I'll explain it. Here we go. So, this actually works out kind of well. Because if you think about it, if we're mining here, we can see here and here. If we're mining here, we can see here and here. So I'm okay with that. The only other thing I think we should probably figure out is how we're going to get down there. Uh, we can obviously jump, or we could make a minecart elevator, or we could just um, make some ladders. I guess we'll just figure that out as we go down. I'm not too worried about it at the moment. There we go. So it's kind of awkward, but at the same time, we have plenty of room to dig. We should almost probably put some, like, fencing around this or something, too, you know? Huh, I don't know. Anyways, so let's go ahead and worry about the storage now. Now, one thing I was thinking about doing for the storage was making it uh, down one level. So you... And then this one level right here would just, we would go down one level. That way we could stack three chests at a time. Because if you think about it, we're going to be mining here a lot. We are probably going to need a lot of storage. So, get rid of all of this. Okay. Perfect. Now, um,. Uh, I just realized we're gonna need one more piece of wood. Poop! Hi, skeleton, still standing over. He's still standing over there. Let me grab you. There we go. Now, uh, I don't have a bed. I'm gonna go over here and grab my bed real fast. The one thing I'm sort of worried about, I guess, I guess I could do it a little bit different than what I'm thinking. Do I have any cobblestone? a little bit of cobblestone not what I'd like to see but whatever okay so um, I don't want like my chest to stick through the walls on the corner so I think we're gonna have to do is uh, start the storage in a little bit there we go so you you okay and what I'm talking about is if I mine right here you see how that's gonna be there so what I'm thinking about doing is maybe something like this. Actually, let's... So if I take out these back walls like that, we won't be able to see it or see the sides. But that'll work out pretty well, I think. So let's remove all of this. I didn't even think I was going to be doing this or I would have dug this out too. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. All the freaking blocks, my inventory is like completely full. Good thing we have a super fast pickaxe. Excuse me. 
And we might actually start it with two right there. That way we can put stuff like right here or something. I'm not sure how I want to do that just yet. Maybe we'll put like furnaces in the crafting table right there or something. Okay. Perfect. Now, my inventory is literally completely full. Perfect. Now, so I have, I have a bunch of chests with me. Trap chest and regular. So what I would want to do would be kind of get the general placement. And eventually, I would love to um, um, make this to where it's automatic storage from down in the quarry itself. So something like that. Glad I brought a lot of chests with me. We'll have to move the torches. Which one is trapped? There we go. Can't remember which one's trapped, but I guess it doesn't exactly matter. And we're gonna have to remove these torches and move them up a block, so let me do that too. There we go. So we'll put those up there. So that's not in the way. Perfect. Perfecto. There we go. Now, um, let's finish up the chests. Lots and lots of storage. I don't think I'm going to label any of the storage, but I will keep it. Um, keep it to where we know what's what, you know. There we go. And, uh, let's finish this up a little bit. So, two crafting tables. And we'll put those probably right there and right there. Then some furnaces. Never know what we're going to need while we're over here. So two furnaces right there and there. And it doesn't look that bad. But it looks kind of weird having that back there. Huh. I don't know if there would be any way to fix that either. And this kind of looks weird too, not having like a block above that. Eh, I don't know. I guess we could use, um, like, stone slabs or something. I don't know. I guess it looks okay. I'm not too big of a... not too picky. If anything, we can just put torches back there. I don't know. Anyways, so that is going to be our storage area, and we want slabs. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so how does that look? That looks, looks pretty compact and good to go for storage. All right, I think we are good to go here. We just got to get some work done here, like mining, and uh, we'll be able to start using this. Hell, I'll be able to start using it right now with all the stuff I have in my inventory. So anyways, let's go ahead and move on, guys. All right, guys, we are back over at our basic base. I got more XP. I'm not going out like no chump. I am giving myself feather falling, whether it's the last thing I do. So uh, you guys also said I was missing Aqua Affinity, which we put on our helmet. So we're good there. Uh, chest plate's good, uh, or helmet, chest plate, uh, leggings, and the only thing we are missing is the stupid feather falling. So, if I can't get it with 59 levels, then I pretty much need to just die. Um, this time I don't know if I'm going to actually combine a bunch of the enchantments together. It might be kind of cool to keep them, uh, just in case we need them for something. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a bunch of enchantments here. Uh, you, and I'm gonna need you as well, so, you there. Let's go ahead and grab some more lapis. I got lapis for days, though. Uh, this one. Okay. Mahaha. <laughs> like, you get, like, no XP once you're level, like, over 50. Okay, so, once again, feather falling. There we go. Nothing. Oh, yes! Finally! 
Oh my god, that took like no time. Okay. You. Then you. Holy crap, 37 levels. So now our boots have not the right thing on them. Hold on. I, gra I grabbed the wrong one. No! Uh-oh. That's not good. This is not good, people. This is not good. So these... Hmm. We might have to improvise. Hmm. Mending? Okay, so... Um... These are the boots that I have now. These are the boots that I want to use. Uh, what if we add these two together? That does, okay, that does have protection on it. That's 22 for those. What's the difference? Okay. Can I put mending on it? So what's the difference between these two boat, two boots? Protection, unbreaking, mending, feather falling, depth strider three. Depth Strider 3, Unbreaking, Feather Falling, Mending, and Protection. Okay, so these are the same exact boots, except for I can actually work with these ones. It's just the, the enchantments are separated. So if I'm not mistaken, hold, don't hold me to this. I think that we have the perfect set of armor. Protection 4, Respiration 3, Unbreaking 3, Mending, Aqua Affinity. Protection 4, Unbreaking. Protection 4, Unbreaking. Depth Strider. The only thing we don't have on there is thorns, but I don't like thorns in any ways, so suck it. Now all we have to do is just repair everything, which is easy by getting XP. I don't think we're missing anything. That's awesome. So now, all of our tools, all of our armor can be repaired with XP. We do not have to worry about getting anything else for it. Yes. Okie dokie, folks. I think that is going to do it for this episode. So I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch the video. I really appreciate that. As always, I love you guys, and there is not a thing you can do about it. So just accept it. Anyways, this is I, Jevin. Peace out.